Hi. Today I thought I'd talk a little bit about uh, the Democratic presidential debate uh, that uh, was aired on CNN last night. Uh, I, I'll try to keep this video short. Um, I just really just have a couple of uh, musings or thoughts to share. Uh, the first is that I, I think I concur with most of the um, analyses that I've read so far in that Hillary Clinton did win the debate. However, her performance was not uh, flawless. She sort of stumbled a little bit in the beginning, um, sort of being outclassed by John Edwards and, and Barack Obama. And then she hit her stride. But then I think she went too far. She, um, towards the end, um, or at least towards the end of the uh, first hour of the debate, she started telling Wolf Blitzer, who was the moderator, that uh, she and the other candidates on the stage, she, 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 was, not, she was trying to speak for everyone on the stage, uh, she said they would not um, answer questions based on uh, based on hypotheticals, and I, I thought she did a disservice to the the uh, to the, the the atmosphere of the debate, to the purpose of the debate. Uh, I thought some of the questions that Wolf Blitzer asked were were, were right on the mark, and, and for her not to not to want to answer them, and then to try to prevent anyone else from answering them seemed a bit strong-handed. Um, so while she, she won the debate, I, I think she went a little bit too far in certain circumstances. Uh, the next thing I, I wanted to briefly mention was how disappointed I was in Bill Richardson. I, I think he's one of the most qualified uh, of the Democratic uh, ca candidates at this point. Um, but for some reason, he just didn't quite, I don't know, muster up enough you know, uh, charisma or enthusiasm or, or determination, uh, really, uh, in his answers. He, he uh, spoke too softly, especially in comparison with Joe Biden and Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama and John Edwards. And, and, he, and while I, I think some of his answers were, were good in terms of the content, uh, he just didn't capture the hearts and minds of, of the viewers, in, in my opinion. On the other hand, we have Joe Biden, who sort of became the John McCain of this debate in terms of uh, showing anger, really, and uh, in some of his responses, and being very uh, belligerent. And, it, of course, he, he had to do something in order to try to break out of the second tier, and I guess this was his moment to do it. Um, he was honest, forthright. Uh, his answers were not overly verbose, uh, and he made some good points. Um, it was nice to see that, that passion from him. It's been a while since I've seen it. Um, now, whether this debate and his, and his uh, performance in the debate will uh, translate into a higher percentage of, of you know, in the polls, uh, it remains to be seen. But he definitely didn't hurt himself in the process. Um, I was very impressed that all all eight of the Democratic uh, candidates said they would repeal the Don't Ask, Don't Tell policy, and that was something I talked about in one of my earlier videos. Uh, I, I would like to see the Republicans ask the same question. I'm, I'm hoping they will, since uh, CNN is also moderate, moderating their debate tomorrow night. Um, so definitely stay tuned for my analysis after that one, after that debate. Um, I don't really have that much else to say. Um, other than, I don't think this debate did a whole lot to really change the order in which the candidates are currently ranked, with the possible exception of Joe Biden, and we'll, we'll see in the coming days if, if this debate really gives him a boost or, or not. Um, I, I thought John Edwards did a reasonably good job when he was asked about the civil unions in, in, in New Hampshire, um, and he, he took an interesting stance in terms of just allowing allowing states to decide, saying that it really was not the, uh, the position of the federal government to um, mandate who can marry and who cannot. Um, I, I wish that question had been asked of more of the, of the debaters, of, of the, the candidates, but maybe that will be fleshed out a little bit in a future debate. Um, I think th those are... Um, I don't think I really had anything else pertinent to say. Um, Mike Gravel was as crazy as usual, but he certainly stirred up the debate, as did, uh, as did Dennis, Dennis Kucinich. Um, 
think that's about it. I, I, I do wish that more focus had been spent on Iraq. And they all talk about getting out of Iraq and what a mistake Iraq has been. And, and I certainly agree with that. But what I listened, to, what I heard in the last Republican presidential debate, which I didn't hear enough of in this one, was what would they actually do? How would they get the troops out? What would their goals be? Um, there needs to be more, th the, the candidates need to present more thorough um, plans to do so. And, and I, you know, until I start seeing some of the details, I, I'm a little wary of them actually being able to do anything once elected to office. So we'll see. Anyway, that's all for now. Take care. Enjoy the video.